his opponent fighting out of the blue corner with a record of five and two. Fighting out of adrenaline. Put your hands together for Corey Mendoza. The referee in charge of the action, Kyle Olsen. All right, folks, here we go. Fight number five, almost halfway through the card. Oh, hit the deck hard, did uh, Tapia. Again, Tapia jumping here. No slamming allowed. No guillotines allowed. Good hip movement by Tapia, getting to the one side, preventing himself from getting flattened out. Oh, Mendoza with a nice one-two and then finishing on the leg, very nice. Both of these guys showing their uh, extensive background early on. A lot of technique in this fight so far. Tapia looks like he may, might want to get it to the ground. Mendoza, Mendoza does a nice job of shrugging that attempt off. Both fighters keeping their hands awfully low here. As you alluded to earlier, you can get away with that when you're not getting punched in the head. Oh, there was a kick to the head, blocked. Good action so far. Tapia pressing forward. A little clinch situation here. Mendoza with a beautiful kick to the body. And that's going to be it, I guess. I, I don't know if that's the stop or not. He definitely took the wind out of him. Beautiful kick to the body. They're bringing the doctor in. Beautiful kick right underneath the rib cage. That takes the assault right out of you. Nothing you can do about it either. It's not like getting punched in the face where you can kind of shrug it off and keep going. Kick to the body will shut everything down. And there's no pushing through it. For those of you back home that have not taken a shot to the liver before, when you do get punched in the liver, it releases all the toxins that are stored there for cleaning out your body, your blood, releases them back into the bloodstream and it basically shuts everything down. Your brain is working, but your body just will not respond. Nice leg kick, goes back to the body. Mendoza is really well versed here in going to the body with both legs. When Tapia has shown the button, he's been kicked and hurt to the body, and Mendoza knows it. He's targeting. He goes to the legs and then changes levels beautifully back to the body, switch kicking. Excellent first round so far. Very nice first round. Obviously, that one's going to go to Mendoza. He was able to hurt Tapia and drop him with that kick to the body. Tapia's showing a lot of heart, though. Looks like he may want to get this fight to the ground. I, I can't tell if, if that's where he's more comfortable. Yeah, so the fighter will not be will not be scored against for, for the injury time. It's two points only for the kick to the torso. He will not get any knockdown points. Pancration rules are a little bit different than mixed martial arts. Again, the fighter's safety is the number one importance. We're just trying to get these guys cage time. That's what you need to be a good fighter. And uh, Pancration doing a great job of, of giving these guys their time in the cage. All right, round two about to get started here. Anti Atapia and Corey Mendoza, great first round. Corey Mendoza. But without that knockdown being scored, you know, Anti Tappy is still in this fight. For sure, he definitely landed his share of his strikes in that in that first round. Another kick to the body, beautifully done by Mendoza. 
Jumps guard. Tap oh. your ball, and he ends up in mount. Yeah, Mendoza tried to counter that guard jump and ended up giving up position and, and pulling Tapia right into the mount. Mendoza trying to use the cage to walk out of trouble here. Tapia now looking to set up a submission here with strikes to the body. Mendoza doesn't seem to have an answer for this mount. He, he's holding on to Tapia and bridging at the same time is not what you want to do to get out of there. Now going to high mount, taking the hips out of the game. Tapia absolutely smothering Mendoza here on the ground. Tapia looked like he was trying to go to knee on belly and in the process puts himself into the half guard of, of Mendoza. Hammer fist to the body and to the leg by Tapia, who's taking control of this second round. Tapia now in the closed guard of Mendoza. Nice job of Mendoza to recover closed guard. Let's see what he's got off his back as far as attacks. Tapia getting back to his feet, looking to stack here. Mendoza grabbing a hold of that ankle and using it for the trip. Beautifully done. Nice getting back ankle. to his feet. Tap, Tapia jumps guard again. Looks to be covered off his back, switching to mission control here. Into the Omoplata, going to, going to the high guard. Now switching to the other side here. Clears the head, beautifully done. Looks like he was going for a Goga Plata there for a second. It's going to be tough to get that with a shin guard on. Yep, take it from me. I tried it. It's not easy. <laughs> I know that was a cheap shot. <laughs> oh, the jabs are starting early here. <laughs> nice uh, Kimura attempt from the bottom here from Tapia. Time runs out. Would have been interesting to see where he was going to go with that. He you know, should be very comfortable off his back. Is it interesting to see how this fight's going to be scored? I have Tapia winning that round clearly. So, you know, uh, again, the point system is different than what we're used to in mixed martial arts. So, so God knows who's winning this fight at this point in time. Once again, the knockdown does not count. So normally where you would have a 10-8 round in mixed martial arts, you do not have that advantage here. Yeah, there is no punishment for the injury. Yeah, and I was going to say, you know, we have one round apiece, but they're not scored that way. So I'm not sure where the scorecard is. If I had to guess, I'd say it's pretty even. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, for those watching at home on the Global Combat Network, Thank you to our friends at MMA Madhouse and our master of ceremonies today, James Trotter from JT Media, making this stream possible for all you guys watching at home. Making it a possibility for you to support local MMA. All right, third round action, getting ready to go. Referee Kyle Olson Cole and the fighters to the center. And we should be underway. Mendoza bearing a strong resemblance to Lyoto Machida in the face. Do you agree? Slight, uh, slight resemblance, yeah. I, I definitely <laughs> see it, especially with the footwork, the moving in and out. Yeah, and, and in style. He, he's mimicking his style a little bit. Nice straight left to the body from Tapia. Machida does a better job setting up his kicks with his hands. Oh, Mendoza might have a hurt leg here. He rushed in for that clinch. We know he's comfortable off his back, but now he's in, side, in the bottom side control, which is not where he wants to be. Now we get to see... Uh, Mr. Mendoza's top game. Little wall walking, but it's, the wall walk's not gonna help you when your opponent has the underhook, which, which Mendoza does. Good job turning out the hit by Mendoza to keep pressure and wait. Very nice job of Tapia to recover half guard here. I imagine he's gonna look to lock down, and he does. Now trying to recover close guard. Oh, Gonna Mendoza sneak out the back out door. The back. Yeah. Beautiful, ends up on top in the mount position. Very crafty groundwork from Tapia. Mendoza, again, just body locking. No real answer for the, for the mount. Anthea Tapia working out of the high mount now, taking the hips once again out of play. Looks, it looks like he's trying to set up a mounted uh, omoplata. Gives up on that. See how he, uh, sliding his right leg now, trying to go knee on belly, but again, may get caught in the half guard in doing so. Mendoza doing a good job so far preventing any transition from Tapia. Tapia's now going to look for that, that Kimura on that near side arm. He's trying to get the wrist and pry it off, and, he, and he's got it now. He's got the grip set up. We'll see if he can finish this from half guard. It's not, not easy. Oh, he might have that submission. He's looking for that arm. Double wrist lock is in. Running out of time. He's going to switch it to a straight arm lock here. Mendoza doing a good job of preventing him from turning that elbow over. 
It's a it's a much more and technical finish on that straight arm when, it, when, you, when you're trying to finish under the elbow. There was some outstanding technique in that fight. Mendoza limping, I'm not sure what he did. But Couple uh, 14 and 15 year olds in the cage. Show him some well-versed technique. Beautiful technique from both fighters. I am, I am thoroughly impressed with what we're witnessing here today. Yeah, Tapia was definitely more crafty off his back. Used it to get to the top position a couple times. Jonathan King heading inside the cage here for our official word. I'm curious to see who's going to come away with this decision. It's a close fight. Judges taking a little longer than usual to tally up the score because, of course, it's a much more comprehensive process. You've got to take into account strikes landed, strikes blocked, positions gained, submission attempts. All those things come into account and uh, contribute and accumulate towards your final score. So again, it should be interesting to see who comes away with this one. Tapia coming away with the win after getting off to a slow start. Mendoza just wasn't able to keep up.